looks like we got some stuff in the works. What have you been thinking and what are you going to do now? So welcome, welcome everyone. Hello, hello my gorgeous ones. If you've never seen me before, welcome. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities, including Tarot, to help you on your path. Now the author of my upcoming book series, Concepts Create Reality. So my gorgeous ones, what are you going to do about this today? Um, I want to remind everybody that I have, if you're interested in this tarot deck, I have the affiliate link down below in my description box. Also, uh, till the end of the month, I am running that special Halloween special to thank everybody for growing my YouTube and my social media, but my YouTube especially so fast. So, um, that also, I'm going to have 30 minutes uh, tarot readings for $60 and then an hour for $120, which is a deep discount. So, that's going on to the end of the month. I keep getting a lot of, so my schedule is actually going to fill up. I didn't realize it was going to do that, but it is. Um, so I'd want to jump on that if I were you, if you're going to see me. Um, let's get started. So this is your first position. I'm going in here into the general energies. I am going to translate what spirit says, uh, translate what I see in your energies. Um, and then Spirit wants to remind you, it is always up to you whether you want to accept and allow or deny these energies. It's kind of up to you in your path. So you have the Knight of Coins. Now this is a beautiful Knight, Knight of Pentacles in the traditional Tarot. So you see how beautiful his horse is. And his horse is a little bit more stocky. His horse is a little bit more stable. He's He doesn't have like a fast horse where it's going to, like where you run into the battlefield type of horse. Um, this horse is more for you know, uh, farming and plowing and helping, right? So this night is more of that type of night. This night is about um, taking their time and when doing that in situations, in love, in family, in friends, in whatever it is that you're focused on, uh, taking your time and really understanding and really growing those things. So since this is your position today, this is how you're sort of seeing things and feeling things. And um, But nights always come with an offer. So I see this two ways because this is such a big group. I see this as some of you getting an offer um, that's going to be very stable and growing because the knight of coins grows something grows it flourishes he grows his possessions he grows his resources whatever it is that he does he grows it so either some of you are going to be receiving or have received uh, an offer and you're sort of waiting on it or you're thinking about it it hasn't been too long that you're thinking about it or you guys have an idea and there's an idea or a, a creation or something that you're trying to bring forth or you you actually you think about bringing it forth but you haven't actually made any choices to bring it forth uh, for whatever reason maybe because you don't have the resources maybe because um, your confidence uh, for whatever reason I feel like there's an idea or there's something so what I'm feeling is in the past year maybe some of you year and a half um, what y'all call the dry spell, what you, where things have not been going your way and things have really stopped and some of you have cleared and it's nothing, nothing, nothing's going on, right? You've worked on yourself, but nothing is happening in your life. I feel like this is, that was that preparation for this time, this creation, this thing. So whatever this is, either you're going to get an offer or you need to, you have this offer to give the world. You have this offer to, to, to collaborate with somebody, to partnership with somebody who can help you uh, bring this forth into the physical because coins to me is physical, okay? So um, their advice is the three of wands and the three of wands is about taking a risk. This is about entrepreneurship. This is this card is about like uh, bringing something forth but taking the risk to do that. And the reason it's a risk is because you see where he's sitting there waiting for the ship to come in instead of moving towards and sort of leaning into uh, the ship. He's waiting for it to come in. And so what they're asking you to do with this offer is sometimes you have to take a risk. Sometimes you have to 
uh, trust in yourself that you did all that preparation work and whatever your mind is trying to create is what it is you're really wanting to experience. So for that, you may have to take this risk. And it's a risk because you have, you know, the things that you're responsible for, you know. So, um, you know, I'll take it from a business aspect. You can't, like, put all your money into something because you need to have that money saved because what if something goes wrong and you can't pay a bill, right? But they're saying it's even more than that. If you've been preparing, whatever this is is going to flourish, but it's not going to do it unless you take the risk, right? It's not going to do it unless you know. This is a place where you know that <clears throat> whatever's in your head has got to come out and it's got to be created because it's a passion of yours. It's got the wands in it, so it's a passion of yours. But it's something that you're really, really wanting to bring forth in this world, right? Now the outcome is the Eight of Swords and that tells me that when you do this, there's going to be a time. This is called the test card. The Eight of Swords is about testing you. The Eight of Swords is, in, listen, Spirit's not testing you. It could be you testing you. It could be you testing the world. It could be you. But this is a test card. It's to say, once you do this, just because it doesn't work out right away doesn't mean that it isn't going to come forth. It just means are you dedicated? Are you that passionate? Are you going to put enough energy into it and stick to your guns and do it? Because that's what they're going to be. That's what needs to happen. I was almost going to say that's what they're going to be expecting of you, but they're not. This, they, this is what needs to happen so that you can birth that thing into life or birth that situation into life or birth that relationship into life. It's about you saying, this is what I want. And it doesn't matter if it looks right. It doesn't matter if people think I'm crazy. It doesn't matter if I think I'm crazy. I have this knowing that this should be coming out. And so because I have this knowing, it doesn't matter what anybody says or how it looks. I'm going to stick to it. I am going to stay focused and I am going to do it. That is what the Eight of Swords is about. So, yeah. All right, my beautiful ones. It's so funny. They keep like stopping as soon as I say, <laughs> this is different than I'm used to. They keep stopping as soon as they say what they need to say. All right, my gorgeous ones. I love you, love you, love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. You can do this. I believe in you. Bye.